Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Please go ahead and subscribe. I know that you guys see that I'm toying with a name. It's not set in stone. I haven't copyrighted it as yet. So, like, but really, I look for the input on this. Like, do you like it? It's a play on my favorite word. I always tell people I'm tenacious and... Here's the definition, because at this moment, I remember. But they have something for the with persistent, and you know, I get what I need to get. I get what I want. So, I don't want to sit in the kitchen. So, I'm talking to you guys from my gimbal, because on New Year's Eve, I went live on YouTube to talk to you guys about my plans for the new year, but no. When I tell me to go over Instagram, I'm going to go live over Instagram and up there do shots and beer things that I would not be doing on YouTube if me did a stay myself still. Anywho, drop a seat with my phone, pan the, the, they call it again, on the tripod stand with ring lights and everything turn on. Me only know so me kick it one at a time. I'm going to say, Chuck, you can't see. I'm going to wake up the next morning. I see the phone. I say, well, on the phone, it's still there, honey. And then, boom, the part where the phone for stay in and not work. So, I'm just bitch up the light right here. So, and um, I use my, my gimbal to hold the phone. And I did order a backup, but I feel like I feel like the person that's working at the fulfillment plant um the amazon that always gets my my orders or whatnot like they just see my name and they're like oh this girl watch for me and her i have been paying for amazon prime for about six months because me was my me was my student prime forever ago and i can't be like other people that like just create new accounts to get it free or whatever like not me but the only thing I use Prime for is to watch videos. Currently, I'm caught up on Power Book 2. Since that season is done, I feel like some of us start paying for Prime till it come back. Because along with Prime, I've just realized that I did actually pay for stars and stars never come with Prime. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's it about me and my dilemma. How is your new year? How has your new year started? I actually wanted to do a whole video about basically everything now as some of you have been following the story on december 25th 2020 that would mark my two-year anniversary since i packed everything up and fully moved to canada and baby it has been a journey you ever watch those movies where like an individual was like wounded and some monastery i think what place name my monk live like one place like that take them up and you know nurse them back to health and then get them to fight and i just i just feel like that's what my whole experience here in canada has been and i um I love it. That's why I decided to rebrand my channel to some extent. I wanted to show you guys because my code switch is kind of broken. I can't jump from Pato to proper English. Lie. Lie, man, tail. I can do it, but sometimes I get carried away with my little accent, you know. And then I've been talking to my friend. I've been talking to my cousin in London and I find myself imitating her sometimes, so yeah just know that on this channel you're gonna get so many so many <laughs> different um what you call it accents and personalities and it's not a disorder it's a part of who i am it's not diagnosed i mean just a thought that but honestly so like yeah like a rundown you know i feel like you know oh, no, that's the right time I feel like I'm on story time. So this outfit used to fit me one time gone when me did, me did nicer than this. No, me have bulkier shoulders, but yeah. And the hair, let's talk about, let's talk about the hair. So I washed my hair cause you guys know I've been working out. 
and then every Friday after all that sweat and stuff through the Monday through Thursday trainings, I work out. And then I go wash my head. Gotta wash it every weekend because I sweat in my head on a regular and with that working out, like it gets worse. So I wash it. Wash my good, good ear. I'm a day. I'm gonna say, oh, like, all right, I'm gonna go down to the hood. And I'm sitting and watching TV. I'm saying, oh, I'm gonna just draw for the shampoo. Cause you know, it's not even part of them now. Firm. Cause one of them big shampoo comb where I just fit detangle. I'm gonna just run some part through it. Well, my hands are gonna look pandy either. I wasn't even paying attention because I can do my hair without a mirror. I've done it countless of times, but baby. You never expect this. <laughs> and it's going to stay like that till whenever I say. So, let's tell the story about, you know, coming to Canada. Hey, coming to Canada. Let's do that story. So, on December 25th, 2018th, I boarded a flight, Air Transat, to, to Toronto, Ontario. And I was moving in with my friend that basically, um, that story are long enough. <laughs> All right. So I was moving in with my friend. So remember I had come to Canada before and I had friends or so. I had friends. I'm not going to say somebody think because when me, when me class you as friend, you are friend to me. Till you turn four, till you do something for turn four. Although, I've learned a lot. Before, we do, let's not go into that right now. So, I was coming to Canada with a friend. Um, she was moving back here and she was bringing her cousin and stuff. And remember, now, one of the main things that I want to get across on my channel is that I am a really a country girl come at all. Okay? I uh, lived all my life in Chigwell, Hanover. One little place where my next video is a dedication to them. Look out for that. You know, we have to start from the beginning. But me, I get a one through. I run through, right? So, my, my born and grow a country. And then, I do up to six farms. So, just no say, the whole of my life, me live this. One. And then, I go town and it's a whole new thing because kingston is nothing like montego bay kingston is nothing like nowhere i've ever been so that was an awakening but leaving from kingston to come to toronto ontario that was a bigger leap even from one well, little country girl little like town because now i go from country to town to city you know and i did that <laughs> i did that and i it was very good it was it was it was good it was as miss as i explained earlier i'm a little breakdown period because like yeah, i feel break me and then build me up and oh it broke me so in the first year me and that girl were, were talking back and forth when I was planning to come and she tell me about the place. Go watch the video. I talk about that in a me why I'm doing vlogmas video. And I go down in the integrity with that. So after some oh, see the bed here. That was the bed. Three weeks, cold, fever. Bro, my dead in another room there. I died in there, okay? And then a friend of mine tell me, say, Woo! So, this friend of mine told me that she knows somebody who have a room, right, right, right. and I went there, and I really was having a... That place felt more like home. It was a Jamaican woman, and coming from living with people from different backgrounds than I was used to, that had different beliefs and were completely different from what i'm used to that they just very much welcomed and me and that woman they live good bro 
I would, I even have snaps when I'm in the bathroom doing a proper number two. The door is open, she in our room and we have a full on conversation and a laugh and a, like that's how comfortable I was. But I'm not, I'm not thinking never that. I'm not do that with the people that I grew up with in my own house. The bathroom door lock, you know? So that was new, but it was welcomed. And we, I think we were okay, but it was a, it was a sticky situation from the start because there was secrecy as to I couldn't tell the lady where I know the man from, which I know the man, I know the man woman and uh, the man ex-wife and it could have grown pan like it was it was weird. It was weird, but I think we were managing. And then the fateful day come when Goody Tech Trip Ghana, Jamaica. And when I come at the door, I see notice from the door or something and my fast. It never staple, it never glued on or nothing. So you know, so I open the, the envelope when it's an urgent notice about the apartment. And there's like eviction and court and all kind of sitting on me and say, so when they kick out the lady, they're going to kick me out because like, no, you know, and... Bagger thing comes true and my question the lady about it come here and say me pay my rent so you don't pay your rent so even if me a pay my rent and you don't pay yours technically a you not pay yours right because me not in a no argument with no building so building building and put me out if building put you out and put we out well, you know but argument i'm like okay fine who she them for come out and like that's where like some of the standoffish did start but then she tells herself to come out and me come out when me come out i went and i lived with a friend of mine that i know from back home i lived with him for it wasn't a month but somewhere close to and then i found an apartment i found a room to live with some people now in that room um i was that's the most comfortable i had been living with people since i have moved to canada that's like before not including where i live now that's the longest place i ever lived i lived there for six months or a little bit under six months now mind you i live at the first yard for three weeks and the second yard for three month two month plus january 15 december 25th to january 15 january 15 to march march 14 to Ma january 15 to march 14 and then march 14 to april 15 <laughs> yeah by april i had moved four times yeah yeah by april i had moved four times so yes that happened and i can talk about it now but while it was happening your girl magadong so cold fat top big and sour and that's like that's where my my weight um inconsistencies began because I think I've been growing at a steady rate since me and Pitney like made it always big. So I was always considered big. Cause now looking at some of my picture them me and say like nobody never but because we don't talk about that right now. So yeah, I fluctuated in weight, my my head, my dots, you know, like I was stressed, and that's why this these are the reasons why I started the YouTube series studying Canada and everything you need to know because baby nobody tell her that a man you made it a friend a Canada good good friend was a come man girl come but now say nobody did for I'm I will never say you should have told me everything because while I was going through it I wasn't sharing this information with anybody right so I can understand if you're in it right now, you wouldn't be um, sharing it with anyone or you would be scared because at the time I felt like I, I'm like, oh my God, it's definitely a me problem, right? I started to internalize a lot and 
bugger things. So, fast forward to May. No, so April, I'm living with in this house, and this house don't have much rules, right? First of all, this guy, mother used to rent the place, his mother did. I think I when me lived the intern 18. So he was basically just subletting to young people for help pay the bill them, and we were just there, like no it was lawless in a way but mutual understanding respect each other privacy respect each other boundaries stuff like that but then the boy have one girlfriend and the girl is a tigrig in every term of thing <laughs> like she was she was something else and she caused like so many arguments in the house because she drank so hard they smoked and like after she drank like i i realized that she was like fanatic or whatever but then sometimes like they would be in their room and the little shuffling and excitement and he would he would be looking at me like bro I, he would call me he would text me sometimes he would pass me in the hallway he's like yo i'm so sorry about that like it's not even on me and i'm like you know what like i'm not even fronting i got a job that's like five minutes from where i live five minutes on my bike to work and i was always at work or school or something so i wasn't even stressing about it right but then Marella said the boy I beat the girl. Little boy. The girl was like 23. This little boy I beat upon this girl. And you know, and then like one day I, I, I caught him like in the act. And he's like, I'm so sorry. She's so drunk. She did this to herself. And I'm like, <laughs> no. I grew up around domestic abuse. I lived in it my whole life i moved to kingston and i was sharing a freaking wall with one woman or our man that beats our track like every morning as track clock come now normally somebody would be having morning wood at that time why are you coming in beating this woman at that time like you could choose hate or love and you chose hate why you know so i'm there and I have PTSD that's linked to some of those childhood traumas. And you know, so no me can't sleep. Like any little if if me in my bed, I you move furniture, just not say I eat that. Me now, me now sleep, me now move, me sit on all night and watch. I'm like, here comes the world crashing down. And that's how fucked up it was. Like yeah so when all of that start happening it start affect me because then me can't sleep me can't go to work me can't do i would i think i did my what's the test called um my smart serve i did my smart serve at home so it's, it was it was online administ administered and you know say you have to set up a camera and the invigilator watch you the way they do and whatever and them over there and them out go on and you say yo like right now like my big i'm like guys 30 minutes i'm not even i'm not even kidding like just 30 minutes and it didn't help <laughs> it didn't help and it was it was messed up it, it was messed up and like at that time i'm like you know what i gotta leave but then we weren't strict on nothing at that point so like i could i get paid bi-weekly so i could just give him a part of my pay each time i never like I never paid my I never paid my rent on the first of the month with them. Never. Like never had anything like that. And it was it was okay because it's like we're just chill. And then the heat cut off and it couldn't be reattached because it's in his mother's head. Like bangarang. So I'm like, you know what? I'm about to leave. So I told him I'm leaving, but like any other day in Canada, it's about august september at this time we can't find no way and i'm like i can't find anywhere to go but i'm trying so i'm like bro i'm gonna need two weeks to get out that's when the when the end of the month was coming that would end the money that i already paid i'm like you know what i'm gonna need it about two weeks and then um him and his girl had like big arguments and stuff so i left before the two weeks was up and he's like oh um but you still gotta pay i was gonna leave it's like you still gotta pay 
no i told him i'm leaving i'm so done with everything some argument transpired about that like i got i got so pissed about that and then i come home from work and my freaking door is busted off my the door is off the door jam is off and i'm like what the hell is going on because what the hell is going on for real and it's like the neighbors called the cops for the domestic disturbance and shit and the cops came in and checked every room and freaking my door was closed so they freaking kicked that shit off <laughs> and i'm like this is not something i want this is not something i saw myself in and i i don't want to be a part of this i definitely don't so that's when i decided i'm out like bye you know and then this boy when me i pack up my things and to leave go come stand up in front of the door i was terrified i was i'm not even kidding like i was i was shook this boy is barring the door i can't leave but me after paying for the two weeks when me did send me a stay longer and i'm like get the fuck out of my face i need to go and knowing that he beats women i'm like am i strong enough to deck this mother mind you he is tall so he could have fooled anybody that he was an adult but he is tall okay he's about six five and he is he's from it's a south american country so i lived with i lived with latinos at the time there was one from mexico one from was it colombia i don't think it was colombia costa rica sit down here maybe while me edit it will come back but three different parts of mexico not my <laughs> three different parts of south america mm -hmm. so we're there right and he's like i just i call the cops and whatnot so i'm like boom drop from a phone 119 now the number is 911 but baby girl 119 works when you're in trouble and you dial it they answer so don't nobody talk to me about nothing so i called 119 in that moment because like i was i was shook i mean peel my wig back and everything shook so i called the police and they're like what's your emergency is everything okay i'm like y'all better come because he's out here barring the door and when he hears me he's like why you call the emergency and he's like whispering and he's like terrified oh you can go you can go i'm like let me out of this mother and like let me out and i get out right so a uh, uber comes and i pack my stuff in it i packed my stuff in it mind you i found this place on facebook marketplace the woman was like i got a room but it's gonna be available at the end of the month i'm like i don't got a month baby girl i don't got a month like i need to get out now because remember me come from work i'm at work kick off i'm not in that like whatever i know i do my door not supposed to if it's domestic disturbance why my door kick off like nobody else room never sound like problem in there why don't kick off my you know but stressed out I feel like this is gonna be one two part video. This is gonna be a two part video, but me I gonna complete it. Let me know if it stop. I don't know when to stop. Me upload the two part then tonight. Cause it's a story I need excitement, right? Right? Yes, this is gonna be a two part video. Tune in for part two. So, <laughs> so where do you right? And the I have. Some of my stuff them couldn't hold. Some of my things them couldn't hold. So, mind you, I haven't even been in Canada a year. This is my fourth place I've lived, the one I've lived the longest. And my Afia move in a hurry, which every other time I did move in a hurry, like just get up and, and gone, you know? Always just a up and disappear in a hurry that's why i wanted when i chose this apartment to basically do it on my terms that never happened but stay tuned for the rest of the story so i decided that i'm going to 
I'm gonna sit in the corner. What you find that in the store every day? <laughs> We're in the story, am I? All right, so yeah. After him let me out, my go. So I had three plastic bins on by a Walmart. When I did a store my things them in her. So them the three bins there, aside from like everything else that I had and own and whatever. I think two other bins couldn't fit because of the amount of stuff that I had. So I left them out at door upon the porch area. I said, alright. I live five minutes from here. Tomorrow from work, I will come and take them up. You know, like at this moment, I just need to leave. Cool. Left and reach at the place. Now, back to the lady. She say she have one, one room and it's available at the end of the month. But she has a day bed in her living room that I can stay on for a discounted price till the room become available at the end of the month. I'm going to ask her what they're going to She said, yeah, just one other girl live there. So me think this is a one-bedroom apartment. Maybe a woman did get the apartment and she never want to get up. So she leased out to somebody, you know. Whole lot of, whole lot of. So her brother met me downstairs. Helped me pack up everything. Cargo in and whatnot. So we didn't have a bill, you know. Exists. It's a day bed, meaning they mean your living room, your kitchen overlook your living room. And basically you're basically seeing me, no matter which part you're there in the common areas. So it's weird, but at least I'm safe. I breathe the, the a sigh of relief and I am I'm safe. I'm out of that situation. You know, I've known big tall man of cover over me. But good, right? Wrong. The next day I go to work, I'm a co-worker, I have a car, decides to she'll go help me go for the things them. So we go for them when we reach the yard, eating at the pond the porch. I am like, <laughs> it's not there. It is not there. Like, what's happening? It's not there. When I look, the main garbage receptacle, I'm a two bin them that sit down pants. I was so angry. My tears welled up, but my co worker them there. But I look like, let's put on a brave front. All right, man, go for my bin them. Take up my bin them. Uh, open the bin. I had a Worcester sauce and barbecue sauce in the fridge. And I'm used to use them. I'm used to complain about them. Tell me why I'm so sorry to set my Worcester sauce and throw it in and I close them. And at them, the time that I wish me did have one big brother or one gunman. Them the time them always say me did have somebody who I did have strength for him come and say, God, not me. I will not be a statistic. But in that moment, I have never felt so alone in my entire life. Because I'm like, I need somebody to teach this boy a lesson. Somebody needs to school this boy in a oh in cause uh but it just by my all star and something like I had just bought some Converse sneakers, but not like the 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 Chuck Norris type Converse or whatever. But it was a Converse, not like the not like the bootleg rock star team favorite type. I don't know if I have it. I'm with all these stories. I'm gonna go through my gallery and see if I can find no picture cards. I take picture of everything. I wasn't into YouTube at the time, so I'm not like, but I don't make no video or nothing. But I feel like say a lot of these things would be in my Snapchat or something if we never just send it out to specific individuals. Might be able to find something, but I take one picture of everything, so I'm almost gonna find everything, but. When I reach home, I start go through everything. And when I reach home, I start go through everything. I see the sneakers them and I just buy. I mean, Jordi and did go um SVP sports go buy them, you know? Yeah. And I cried. I cried. I broke down. And I cried when I got home. And the new landlady. Now, this was a... 
this was a monday it, i moved in on a monday i went back for the things on a tuesday i was off on wednesday wednesday morning this was a wednesday morning and she come in and she said she's like yeah all right i'm just break down no she's jamaican also so because me did that with a jamaican before you know say but I feel calm down myself, you know, regroup and know say Jamaicans are loving people but tread lightly. So remember say when Jamaican did burn me early in the year. So me I look pan out through the side of my eyes. So I'm not really there for all of this, right? So we're there, we're chilling and me I tell her and she's like, You need no help. Oh them did smell so come I did go accept and me tell her the word she stands so I think up the place. And me just pack out everything and say, oh, me I go laundry. And she give me the laundry can. And me just, me just compose myself. Me say, live for fight another day. No. Hold on. How I go? Mm-mm. My movie in Sunday. Go for the things. Monday, this happened. Tuesday morning. Wednesday morning. I'm a day off. No, I like having my Wednesdays off because I just feel like on a hump day, you need to relax and recoup. I like working three days or two days back to back and then being off. And at that time, I think I get Wednesday and Saturday off. So it did balance me out, you know, my good for the week. Wednesday morning, me get sick. Somebody, I can't look from the place. I'm like, something say I me to get the room, but back up. Me I realize that it's a two-bedroom apartment. She and her man live in a one room. Somebody else live in a the room and she says she going to make available. And me out in a the den. This woman says she going to buy another day bed put out in a the living room. And somebody can look at the place. So she want me to wake up early for my day off and fix up. You know, spread up my bed basically and go sit down on the balcony. My mother have this my mother always say if you never got full rules folded and shit by you. I mean I say if me never kiss up to this woman to get the look of it, she couldn't she couldn't be here so with me. Me I said, Jesus. So now me actively I look please come here say no that woman I'm like she not regular something 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 off something is very off so I'm there like hmm okay but me I text her me 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 that I, I don't approve of this. Like, me day here already. You know, and me think say me they go, oh, da, 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 da. When I look, a girl, they buzz up for call look pan place and sit now me fix. So anyways, me did it. Should we come out at the time? Consider, you know, no, this is a, we don't know how me I go. I'm not sure if I have any pictures of the place. But this is an L shaped couch facing the TV and my bed the side of the TV. So if you come out and slung in at the couch, you look for me in my bed. My dear bed in the living room. And <laughs> I was there like, hmm. All of this for international education, by the way. That I'm on the honors roll for. All of this for international education. Well, me up here for out of my pocket. And all of them places yeah, with rent, well, me up here for out of my pocket. Because if one thing me know for fat, me and nobody never have no argument over the rent. And that, that degrees me. Because I feel like. If it was a case where I wasn't paying or me never have your money for pay when you want it, treat me, treat me any way you want to treat me. There, me I work hard. But hard, Lydia, me and coming there from work to school to something else. You know, I understand me and try to build me like a side business, panny side, some. I'm never there. But for some reason, I am an inconvenient. But feel like I say people, them just want. Then just want the direct deposit they're going on the account. They're not even want to see if you collect no money. You're not know, for existing in the world. And we're going to talk about one specific individual who are really dish out that. So, anyways, that's happened. May I go work? May I come home? I think I went into the the first day. So I had may have my tissue and certain cause. 
Nobody don't give nothing in Canada. You buy everything for yourself. And when you can, you buy them in bulk. So I have them on something, but them packed away. Like, me in your living room, my suitcase and everything not really there. Me not down in everything. But I went to the bathroom. And I remember that that morning, I did not go a full number two. But me there at work and me get sex. Like, oh, um, buy tissue when you come. Or buy your own tissue when you're coming back. Something like that. Something I'm saying. Then Miss go and go measure the ply tissue. Because I honestly believe that I did use it. But girl, you have to text me at work to tissue. I'm going to say, I don't want to say anything about tongues. Like, tissue? So anyways. <laughs> anyways. But go woman. Me make sure say me don't leave my bed without tissue. And with it then, you know me at work, me I do all of that. Me not really, me not dare feel. But then she would have text me, you're good? And I'm like, yeah man, me good. Oh, cause me not know you, you know, you know this and you know that. No, I had gone to Jamaica in August and this is now September. So, me love my little Alaska and... But couldn't find it in enough places in a Saranto. So I bring up my Lasco them when I can. Still have Lasco now too. But I had my Lasco and she asked me when I get them and I say Jamaica. And she say if she can buy, I'm say LOL no. I just feel like say the lady just vex with me friend that proper proper vex. I mean I understand why me and say like, LOL, no, you can't get me last go. You want me last go to the miss? I want me to use the conflicts. You know? And <laughs> she did she, she just, she have fierce. She have fierce. She cook soup. I think one of the day they might she offer me. I may tell her, say, no, I'll my mother. I don't no love soup. I see if I feel the soup right now, I'm not getting it. I don't want it again. Like, I just some feel. So if I'm there and say, you know, some feel who want soup, I'm going to drive down to Opel for whatever. Like, by my reach at Opel, I don't want it. I just, that is my way with food. It's weird like that. We are going to do one whole video about me and my eating habits, anyways. You know? And me I say, alright then. So. The next day, she are reheating now. If you know anything about some good pumpkin soup, you know, say, after you put that, after you put that back, pan the fire, you know, man, and it nice and thick and rich up at this time, yeah. Mm. You know, and she say, sure, you know what, and I'm going to say, all right, I'll just try. I'm going to try the soup and the soup. Bad up on the second day, I mean, I'll say it did bad upon the first day, but like, we never want none, you know. And we had our little moment, and that was good. No, Sunday, Sunday, she tell me, say the girl come out of the room. And remember that this was a discounted price to stay on the day bed till the girl come out of the room. I go pay the full price. So me I pay $500 for sleep in the day bed and me I go pay $700 for sleep in the room. Anywho, we there out there and she tell me, say, no, say the girl gone. Like, it looked like she moved out everything and like when you move depending upon how much time you have to move you can leave some things technically you do have access to the place till your your money run out like if you pay for much you have access to it till the 31st i think no written rule never did if you know borders because we are going to talk about that in a part two but we will wrap up on fear story coming and bring over fear animosity into the next video because the whole nether bugger drama in a part two so what did it and um she tell me about the room i'm going out the room you know i'm like the room yeah i say watch your closet peers and now in canada like not fair bed them them basically they are grown and me grow up on high bed so i want bed where i can climb a bed where me have to climb on stepping stepping let up for go up on so <laughs> with it 
I'm going out the room and it's one of the rooms with storage, right? So when you have the little draw them, you know, say it have little height to it and the bedded have storage area. I have, me have closet and my closet have overhead space and my bingo. And then the room have carpet and she tell me say at least once a week. You know, we lay down the rules and we're good. At least once a week vacuum and you know, we have a good time. Me in there, you know, when me a unpack now, me a find all kind of things when me not see from when and you get nostalgic, you start read something and you start trying on something and something. So me quiet in the room, like, it look like them figures that me did it. Me properly switch over to Pato, I don't know. <laughs> so, I think they forgot that I was there. <laughs> me think them figures that me did it, right? And them, them, um, no, I know how it sounds when things start tumbling. Okay? It's when people are fighting and grab up and wa and wall a lick and grung a stamp and sitting. Remember, I had years of experience in this field. I know what it sounds like. And me in there, me I say, Lord. God, we call me and go get to the room. And I am. But you know, and they make me here. Give me phone, give me phone. I'm like, I'm terrified because I'm like, what do I do? I go call police. What what me I do? What do I do? What they go on here? So when the sitting in my room and me, me a panic, me a stress out, and then everything went quiet. I me just start show back everything in my suitcase. Me say I know I'm gonna go on the day bed because if I saw them go on in the room and their bedroom shares a wall with that room, which by the way, one of the main reasons why I left the place prior to, and I did explain to her is I was sleeping and this man took his girlfriend and threw her into the fucking wall that adjoins my bedroom. That was the last straw for me after my door broke off and then this something there and that's no that happened i think like the it happened within the week when my door broke off on police and something so it happened at that time no all right that happened me tell him say me i left within the next two weeks and then my door broke off and me get up and left yes something like that don't quote me don't don't quote me so when that happened now, because I explained to the girl that that's one of the main reasons why I had to leave out of there so quickly. Because I feel like even though my life isn't being threatened, it feels so close to me and I don't want to be in that environment. <coughs> <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So, when that happened now, I grab back everything and say, no, I'm going to go back out tonight, all. They could not even know something in her, and she was shook when she saw me. Car, they really never know something did that's true. Like they forget something did it. So, me go back out tonight. Uh, I'm a carry. I want something me did carrying so far. Me carry back everything out there. I'm a say me we sleep right here. So, and she said, "You're good, whatever, whatever." And then she, when she gone in her room, now she start text me, and she's like, "Tina, me know me. I get a vibe from you. I'm in a light. Me say me explain to you. Say this is not something that I want to be in. This is not a situation that I want to be in. And you just say, like this is literally the same thing. And you promised me that this that would never happen here. Girl, I'm funny. Didn't want to see. Not never happen. Like my ass camera in my in my in my apartment for people like you. Cause you could have sent me God jail. We never the fight." Maybe you not call it fight, but me call it fight. Cause baby, you can't you can't tell me how I feel. If me say me not feel comfortable with a fight or not, that was not something that I was. Me never want to see or hear or nothing, you know. And girl, me na, 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 and she a real up and she a one. Um, me no want you, me no want you, you, you spreading a propaganda upon me and whatever. And I'm like, well, well, you can leave. But say give me back the rest of my money and I will surely leave. Now this is Sunday in some Monday morning. But moving last week Sunday. 
and Monday after hours, I have to pack my things and go. I owe them five hundred dollars. She only give back two hundred and fifty dollars. I'm saying two hundred and fifty dollars. I'm find a hotel. Stay at the hotel for two nights. Check out part two of the video, cause I go drink some water. My throat dry and I feel like them story I need to talk. Yeah.